don't mess with Texas, especially when you're at the Alamo. It's hard to believe that Davy Crockett was here. So I just toured it for the first time ever. I mean, I don't think you really get a good feeling of some of the historical value of the Alamo until you come and take a look at it. I mean, I never did. I learned so much just by stopping in off the road you know, I'm checking something out. I've always wanted to look at the Alamo. I've always wanted to read about it and, you know, understand the historical value of it. And absolutely, man, it was just, it was so cool to come and visit. <laughs> I've spent uh, probably a total of uh, four or five days in Texas and um, been looking at the sites, looking at uh, different things to do, but really traveling on two different interstates. One was I-20 that goes across Texas and then one is I-10 that's the southern part of Texas. One went through Dallas, the other one, the other one goes through San Antonio and Houston. It's been really cool driving through Texas. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. And considering I spent a total of $20 on lodging so far, I have to say it's been a pretty good trip. So I stayed in three different Walmarts driving through Texas, driving west, driving east. On I-20, I stayed in Longview, Texas which was a really super nice Walmart going west. Highly recommend it. Uh, they welcome RVers and, and vanners and camper trailers and was really super nice. But the biggest one I saw, the crazy one, was in Fort Stockton, Texas. I passed Fort Stockton going both ways, east and west. But Fort Stockton had 13 Class A RVs in their parking lot, three vans, two camper trailers, and one or two pickup truck campers. And that was crazy. I felt like I was in an RV park. So that was really, really cool. Um, and then of course the other one I stayed at was El Paso uh, coming back east on I-10. I stayed at, uh, which was okay. I mean, I'm, that was neither, there were some RVs there and vans there. Uh, but, um, you know, I don't know, but it was, it was pretty safe. Uh, there's a Sam's Club right next to it. There's also like a movie theater, like an IMAX movie theater right behind it. So you can always catch a movie. Um, but Texas is, um, Texas is a really long state to drive through. And so one of the two apps that I definitely use the most is Camp Pendium and Allstays. Those are the two main apps I use and it gives me everything I need to know. As a matter of fact, because of Campendium, I'm driving to the beach. The other thing that Texas has, of course, is just some awesome boondocking experiences on the Gulf. Uh, where I'm at right now is very close to Corpus Christi. I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm going to let you see if you can find out where it is, but it is a public park. It is open to RVers, campers, vanners, and we're all out here on the beach watching sunset on one side and of course the gulf is behind me and the one thing that i use of course to find these locations is an app called campendium and the all stays app now the campendium app is free right no problem the all stays app is 9.99 10 bucks you're like oh, i don't know that's kind of an expensive app however all stays, all stays app has divided their, their data into three different categories. And you can buy the Walmart all stays app for $2.99 if you don't want to spend the 10 bucks. And let me tell you, between the Camp Pendium, 
and the Walmart Allstays app, it tells me everything I need to know, where I need to go, and how long it's gonna to take to get there. I mean, going through Texas, spending 20 bucks on lodging, you can't beat it. And because of the Camp Pendium app and the Allstays app, I'm able to find really cool boondocking places like this in Biloxi, Mississippi, where I am behind the Golden Nugget Casino. Of course, way in the back is a public area called Point Cadet, and they allow RVs or vans or cars to come out here and park, of course, hoping you'll go in the casino. I did go in the casino because they have Starbucks in there. But this is one of the things that, you know, is kind of cool about, you know, traveling across the country, whether you're backpacking, whether you're uh, being nomadic, uh, whatever your destination is. Um, you know, apps like Campendium and Allstays and some other apps really kind of guide you to where you can go and really, uh, really save money if you're on a tight budget. And we're all on a tight budget. Of course, with most uh, public areas, whether it's a city park, whether it is a uh, BLM land, um, man, it's oh, you gotta always practice leave no trace. Always, always, always. You don't want these places to close. Anyway, very cool. You guys, thank you so much for uh, watching uh, the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you always get notified of our next video. You never know where our <laughs> and I are gonna be. Uh, we really appreciate you guys subscribing and supporting the channel. We're gonna need you in the future. Uh, and we'll see you later. Thanks, you guys. Bye.